Hi everyone, today we're going to be looking at wiring an inductive proximity sensor NPN PMP sensor to the Click PLC. Now a proximity sensor is able to detect an object's presence without physical contact like a lemma switch. Now since there's no physical contact means that there's no parts that's going to wear out in a life the sensor is increased with less maintenance. So the inductive proximity sensor will detect ferrous metals and the distance that it usually is specified is in is millimeters and it's usually with steel. Now the, um, the sensor develops an electrical field when metal or sensing object it is introduced and it kills the oscillation circuit of the sensor triggering the output. So that's exactly how it uh, works. And we're going to look at the extended sensing um, and we'll, we'll have a AM1-A0-4A which is an inductive proxy. It's a tubular 12 mil, um, six, uh, 60 millimeter body, nickel plated brass housing. And again, like we said, it's a NPN and PNP output, normally open. And it has a eight millimeter sensing distance. So that's the extended. Typically they'd be only four. And you can see in our particular case, ours is uh, not threaded to the end so this is an unshielded which gives us a little more of a range we can look at the shielded one which actually comes in, in to the very end of here so all the threads go right up to there so we can mount that flush so if we look at the uh, specifications here's the specifications right here in the charts it gives you our wiring diagrams etc and all the information pertain to the, the proxy then we have some sensor terminology and like we said it looks at ferrous metals and this is actually the um, the chart that will give you the distances that you're looking for or the factor that you need in order to degrade your thing or degrade your distance if you're looking at other things like copper or aluminum brass or stainless steel so these are the different factors you multiply so you see sear steel is just multiplied by one copper 0.28 so you're going to decrease that distance and then also there I'll put a link in with the sensors and frequently asked questions and a lot of the times there's um, a question or two that you'll see in there that um, will help you out so there's all your my dimensions and my specifications so the next thing what we'll do is actually look at uh, our two wire sensor itself and we're going to wire this up to the click PLC so up on my screen here I have my click PLC we're wired in through our Ethernet port here and I have my um, sensor right here so you can see we have the, it's unshielded and there is a light indication here, a yellow light. So as it detects metal, like the end of my pen, it will actually um, trigger an output on the PLC. If we look at the actual wiring diagram that we have for this one, we can see that, I'll call this up, we have my uh, two wires here. We have a black and we, or sorry, a brown and a blue and my blue is currently connected right back to my zero volts of my power supply and my brown is connected um, to my input of the PLC and then the common of the PLC comes back and goes to the uh, brown which is the plus voltage so it's the exact same document that we have up here the diagram that we have up here so this means that it's a NPN type connection and it is a um, so NPN so it's negative switching or sinking the load that you'll often refer to that now if we were to remove power and we will rewire this for our um, PNP and their PNP looks like this on the screen so the first thing we'll do is just disconnect these sensors here 
and we will take our ground wire and connect it directly to our ground wire goes directly to our plus voltage here then we'll take our blue wire and our blue wire will actually go to our input and then our common is going to go back our common or our zero volt will go back to our common in our PLC there we go so once again quick review we've got our ground wire now connected to the ground wire going back to our plus voltage then our blue wire from our sensor is going to our input which is right here and our common for our input is going back to our zero volts so now we have it wired up as the PMP or positive switching or sourcing a load let's uh, plug that PLC back in now so there we go we are PLC plugged in and we'll just test the operation and once again we have our indication light on our proxy right here you have a light going on and off and you can see that we have um, the operation looking correct so again one sensor we can do the NPN or PNP now common things that you'll notice with uh, um, two wire sensors is the fact that um, typically they have a less uh, of a switching frequency that we can do in our particular case this sensor uh, we look through the specs we'll actually have a switching frequency of 750 Hertz then we have a leakage current which is the off state of the sensor and it's the ability to still draw current even when it's off and on the two wire it's actually less than 0 0.8 of a milliamp so it's very small now not compared to a three wire three wire has less than 120 microamps so we have a little more than the three wire but it's still a good uh, um, amount there or, or not as much as what you normally expect and then the major thing about this sensor is it does have short circuit protection so this means that you can take it out of the box take two wires go right to the plus and minus on your 24 volt supply it will not blow up the uh, uh, sensor itself and make it uh, render it uh, useless so the other thing that I want to show you is the fact that in the PLC uh, program we have our click right here and we are connected online and a lot of the times we can't see the actual panel as we're wiring or um, monitoring the operation of the unit and you can see here we can again we'll just uh, trigger this uh, input and you can see my ladder is actually online and it's showing exactly what's happening I can also go to monitor and then look at my system monitor and that gives me a graphical indication of the PLC itself. So as I um, produce metal in front of my proxy, you can see that my uh, input turns on and then my output Y1 also turns on. Now if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button below. If you have any questions about the video, please leave a comment below and I'll do my best to answer it. If you want more information about us, or you want to get our free ebooks on numbering systems or robust data logging, please click, in the, click on the description below to get it. A new video is put out every Monday, so make sure you hit the subscribe button so you get more videos like this in the future. Remember to click the bell beside your subscription, and that way you get the notification. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.